So today I'm going to test out Logic Pro's new mastering assistant and actually I'm more impressed than I thought I would be. Let's take a look. So this plugin can basically analyse your entire mix and then come up with a range of recommended settings which you can then tweak. If you've updated to the latest version of Logic you'll see that mastering is now on your stereo out or you can go to mix and then down to mastering assistant. So mastering assistant is basically AI, it will analyse your mix and then come up with all these mastering settings. So first off, you can change the character, clean, valve, punch or transparent. The main focus of this is the EQ. And as you can see, it's come up with some recommended settings for this track. Now I can customize this if I want to by pressing the custom EQ. And there are basically three bands to tweak, the low end, the mid and the high. So over here in loudness, we can take up the loudness of our track. And I really like this excite button. It really kind of adds an extra flavor to the track. And down in the spread section, we can increase the stereo width of our track, but don't go too much because you'll run into phase problems, just around 10, 20%. So to prevent your track distorting once it goes on Spotify through the codecking process, we look at the true peak meter. And we also have the same for the LUFS reading. Now, the most important one here is the I for integrated LUFS. So we're just going to press start here on the LU range just to analyze it. And this is the reading that we're most concerned about. Down here in correlation, this is checking for any phase issues in your mix. You want this to be sitting between naught and plus one, which it is. So if you want to A, B the mastering settings, just press bypass down here. Now this is really handy. Loudness compensation, turn it on and it will show you what your mix sounds like without that added volume. So just how good is this mastering assistant? Let's do a before and after. So I was actually really surprised by these results, much better than I thought. I'm not a fan of AI mastering at all, but what this does do is come up with some good starting points for you, which you can then customize. So it's actually really good considering it's free. There isn't any compression, of course, that's something that you would have to add elsewhere. But again, it's a good starting point. So go and get the latest version of Logic Pro to get the mastering assistant and plus more stuff. Version 10.8. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys.